All right, let's get into the Board API Club. There's been a lot of talks on it. And just to give a side note, you remember how a couple of weeks ago, not even, you know, that the Board API Club founders, their brand, their holding company, Yuga Labs, has acquired, you know, CryptoPunks, MeBits, some really strong IP. But what about Board API Club? What's going on around Board API Club? But we're here to tell you that right now, and it's very cool stuff. Let's get into it. So, Board Ape's new Ape Coin puts NFT's power problem on display. Now, if you own a Board Ape Yacht Club, this will be a major opportunity for you, I think, um, in terms of, you know, probably more gains. Uh, if you're just investing in this coin, then it's a way to get into this Board Ape Yacht Club sort of community or in investment sort of stake, if that makes sense, right? So let's dive into it. So Board Ape Yacht Club's Board Ape's already the third most valuable collection of NFTs with $1.5 billion in all-time sales, according to blockchain data tracker CryptoSlam. They also unblocked early access to a new digital currency, ApeCoin. That is all the hype. ApeCoin, ApeCoin, ApeCoin. So ApeCoin launched Thursday in a type of release known as an airdrop. So if you're familiar with NFTs and you already own an NFT, sometimes a lot of these projects, if you already own an OG NFT of that project, will airdrop you something else, right? So if you're a current holder of uh, board API club, then you're airdropped some ape coins, right? So that's pretty good right there. But how much ape coins? We'll dive into that in a second. But if you're a board API club member, you'll get some ape coins. And there's been a whole distribution of them amongst investors, VCs, the owners, um, and so on and so forth. Now, what does the coin do? Like, let's, let's talk about that. The coin grants holders influence over another crypto. Uh, native entity known as Decentralized Autonomous Organization, or DAO. The idea was given the Board Ape community a hand in shaping the decentralized blockchain-powered vision of the internet that venture capitalists often describe as Web3. The, word, the Board Ape DAO will use the blockchain to enable and record votes on decisions related to how the community is managed. So in short, say you have more of these tokens, then you'll have a higher say in where this sort of project will go to, or what sort of directions it'd like to take. So, for example, just to give you a quick side note, I am, I do have a Clination. It's a Cardano-based NFT. And they've been doing some sort of things. It's not, it's not only that project, but other projects. They kind of give the people who own the, the NFTs themselves a lot of the information or a lot of the say and how they should proceed. So for example, they have some sort of boat, like, hey, community, should we embark in a Series 2? Should we do a collaboration with another NFT project? Should we acquire some land on the center land or sandbox to do this, this, and that? And the actual holders of these NFTs will cast a vote, and they'll kind of have a say instead of just the owners, uh, the founders of the NFT projects, just dictating everything. So people like to be engaged, they like to have a sort of say in the IP, and this is what makes blockchain technology and NFTs so amazing, right? Now, here's a coin distribution. If you're thinking that, okay, all the Board of Yacht Club owners got this DAO, or they got the major, major portion, then that's not the case. A lot of this has been split up. So, for example, 47% uh, of the Ape DAO, it, that, that's like literally half of it, was allocated to the Ape Coin DAO. 15% goes to the actual board ape and mutant API club owners. That's a good portion. 15% goes to Yuga Labs. 14% goes to uh, the launch partners, including Horowitz. He's like an investor, VC capitalist, and any Mocha brands. Another 8% goes to Yuga Lab founders, and 1% goes to Jane Goodall Legacy Foundation. Now, I don't entirely understand what the, 40, what the other 40% or literally half of the other um, percent means, I think that's that's for the public, right? So literally, you can go on. That's probably what it means. So this 40% Ape Coin DAO, you can literally go on Coinbase and buy it. And so it's kind of weird. If we look at it, came out like less than a week ago, March 17th, not even. So it jumped from $1 all the way to 7 
13 then down to 11 ish 11.6 dollars so i think this 40 percent percent implies that the public is able to buy this ape coin on whichever uh marketplace you want to buy it in coinbase bitforex crypto.com i don't know but yes i think 40 percent percent goes to the public but the other 53 goes to all these other investors and founders and foundations okay that is some crazy stuff now at this price uh which the price was at fourteen dollars thirty six cents in the Friday evening. At this price, the amount of ape coin allocated to launch partners is equivalent to more than two billion dollars. Again, it has decreased from fourteen dollars and thirty six cents down to what we see right here is nineteen dollars sorry, eleven dollars and sixty one cents. So it's a little shy of two billion right now then, I'm I'm assuming, right? I'm doing my math correctly. But that is just crazy. And the reason why I just want to talk about this for a second is because you're talking about a NFT project on the Ethereum blockchain that has, like, I haven't really dove into DAOs like that, but I just, the fact that a NFT project can build this sort of IP and then sort of create a actual, like another asset, like a DAO, an ape coin, a cryptocurrency coin that has an equivalent of, you know, shy of $2 billion now, that's just incredible. So they're kind of expanding uh, I think the term right here is not vertically but horizontally in this Web3 sort of community and, uh, I guess, piece of technology. So going from really high-end IP NFT project to creating a crypto coin and who knows where this is going to lead, um, I really don't understand this 100% of the time or I want to talk about DAOs, but I do know for a fact that the more coins you have, the more, say, you, or the more authority you have to make a decision or to kind of lead the brand where it ought to go, right? So, for example, you know, we see Anderson Horowitz and Animoca, they have a large say in it. These are individuals, investors that have a large say in this sort of uh, path forward for the Board of Yacht Club. And why is that? It's because they own a good percentage of, a good percentage of this whole sort of app, uh, ApeCoin DAO. And that's the thing right there. And I don't know. I'm not, I'm not even going to predict the prices of this. Uh, but it's just really cool to see this. And I think a lot more NFT products are going to get into this where they're going to create their own sort of DAO, their own coin. That, And I wouldn't be surprised that if VFriends does, does this, by the way. Okay. Now, here's another great piece of news. I think it's really cool. This makes me... Who doesn't want to own uh, Board Ape Club? But this is just really cool. So the Yuga Labs creator of the Board Ape Club NFT collection dropped a teaser trailer for a new project called Other Side. I highly encourage you to watch the teaser trailer. I'm not going to play right here, but it's really cool. I don't know what it implies, but again, it's a teaser. So Other Side will focus on the culture, gaming, and commerce invoked during this week's announcement of ApeCoin. This the teaser tweet indicates that the project will feature the use of ApeCoin. You can watch the video like a thousand times. I still don't understand. Or we probably still won't understand what this implies. But if you can probably dig around, maybe there's some Easter eggs uh, that you can kind of dig into and decipher it, right? But they're saying right here by Yuga Labs, see you on the other side in April, powered by ApeCoin. You know what? I'm going to say some sort of prediction there seems that they're like some sort of metaverse and maybe this ape coin, you as an owner of this ape coin can kind of make a decision of where or how Board Ape Yacht Club is going to be making this sort of world called the other side. Maybe, potentially. Who knows? And the cool thing, which is I think was pretty neat, was that during the feature, during the teaser, it featured some of the NFT collections such as Mutant Apes, CryptoPunks, and MeBits. That was kind of cool in my opinion. Uh, it kind of reminded me like somewhat of like you know Marvel when Spider Man meets uh, Captain America and and uh, Black Panther. It's someone like that. Of course, the IP is nearly not as strong, but can definitely get up there. Definitely. Okay. Now I don't want to be the party pooper here, but we can kind of say maybe the Ethereum creator uh, can be Vitalik Buterin as the party pooper and maybe he has a good reason he's the Ethereum, uh, he's the founder of ethereum and he wants this to be to be represented um 
at the novel technology that can help solve problems. And he's kind of like somewhat bad, ma- bad, bad mouthing uh, the board at Biot Club because there's a lot of attention on this blockchain technology for NFTs. And he said the following. The pearl is you have these three million monkeys, these million, these three million dollar monkeys, and it becomes a different kind of gambling. Buterin told Time Magazine, the publication noted that he was referring to the board ape Yacht Club. Now, here's how for a second. And so, like Buterin, he like think of it like this. Uh, say, I, I guess you can say it like this. It's probably a really bad example, but. You make, I don't know. You 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 make a knife. Say say you're uh, a craftsman and you know how to make very sharp uh, antique sort of knives, um, or just cool knives that are meant for cutting, right? Fish, for example. And for some for some reason, this might be a horrible example. People have been using that to to do violence instead of actually cutting fish. That's not the whole point of the application. The whole point of the application is to cut fish, make some good food, but you see people using this particular knife for bad purposes. Now, we're not saying NFTs is a bad purpose here, but it's using, it's grabbing most of the attention of the Ethereum blockchain, and that's what he's kind of referring to, I think, and that's why he's not liking it at all, right? So he said, like, launch pad for all sorts of social political experimentation, fair voting systems, urban planning, universal basic in- income, public works projects. This is what he hopes for for the future of Ethereum, not just NFT projects where monkeys are being sold for, you know, millions of dollars. And he said, like, yeah, a lot of people are selling Lambos and buying yachts and stuff, but that's not where he wants the Ethereum blockchain to be looked at, where you can kind of just gamble and make money by selling the NFTs. And I I can kind of understand that, you know, Uh, but... Maybe it's one thing that will lead to the next, right? He's not wrong in some sense, but for everyone who's making money, they're probably not going to care at all, right? Let's be real there. But yeah, actually, sorry for my horrible analogy. That was really bad with the knives. Wish I can rewind that. But anyways, this is what Vitalik also said on Time Magazine. One silver lining of the situation in the last three weeks is that it has reminded a lot of people in crypto space now, ultimately, the goal of crypto is not to play games with million-dollar picture of monkeys. It's to do things that accomplish meaningful effects in the real world. That, that kind of solidifies what he really wants his technology to represent, not some sort of game, but an application to help solve real-world problems, right? So what do you guys think about this? Uh, does he have a point? Do you disagree? Do you not even care? Do you own a board at Club and you can just not even care at all? Because you're making potentially holding a very, very prestigious asset that you can sell for a lot of money, right? So yeah, let us know what you think about it. And yeah, this episode on Board Ape Yacht Club has been really cool, just based on the fact that in the past couple of weeks they have been on the radar. Like they've they already been on the radar, but some massive news. And I think a lot of people have been waiting for an announcement like this and some big news to come out. And usually when this happens, I think like the floor prices of stuff really just goes berserk, right? So we'll see. Only time will tell how this ape coin will behave, what the other side will actually mean, what it will actually be. So exciting times, exciting times. All right, thank you, everyone. Until next time.